Hey guys, this is Laura from Lightning Cosplay and today I'm going to show you how we made this amazing spear from the game Horizon Zero Dawn. Ha ha! <laughs> Since this is one of the most impressive games I played over the last years, I decided to cosplay the main character Aloy. I mean, she's a redhead, I'm a redhead, we have an inner connection. This time we tried something new and 3D printed everything. At this point, a big thank you to Obsidian Props who donated me the files for the spear. Even when we print everything with our 3D printer, you still have to put a lot of work into it. So yeah, you'll see it. Let's start! As reference, I used the official Horizon Zero Dawn cosplay guide you can download for free. There you can find a lot of detailed shots of Aloy's Nora Brave outfit and hints and tips about different materials you can use for the costume. There are also some nice pictures of the spear and the bow. So, let's start printing all the pieces. The spear was separated into 23 pieces. I have a Lortrex M200. If you are using the printed piece as your final prop, I recommend to use a very tough and durable filament. I'm using the Z Ultra from Zortrex. Printing the whole spear took us about 150 hours. The best glue you can use for your 3D prints is a glue made out of acetone and filament leftovers. The first step is to get rid of all the support material and sometimes you have a lot of it. Now it is time to sand everything super smooth. I work with different grids of sandpaper. When you glue two pieces together you always have these little gaps. You can just fill it with some putty and sand it down. Sanding all the pieces took me forever. After some sanding and filling the gaps, it is time for some spray filler. And more sanding and filling. Here I'm gluing two pieces together with a super fancy self-made glue. When you glue together your prints, I recommend to use little metal bars like this one to connect them. Now comes the fun part, painting! I did most of the painting with spray paint or airbrush. This also means I had to do a lot of masking. For the structure on the override, Ralph had a great idea. We just cut it out a pattern with our laser cut. This worked out pretty well. More masking and painting. And adding some details and scratches. And done with the override. Time to give the other parts of the spear some love, like adding some dirt and painting the wooden structure for the stuff. For this, I'm using normal acrylic paint with a lot of water. Don't forget to seal your paint job with a clear coat. Now it is time to put everything together. For this, I use this two-part epoxy glue from Smooth On. But be careful, it smells horrible. It has a very short curing time, so don't waste too much time with mixing and applying. You can separate the spear in two parts, so it still fits into our suitcase. Because the cord I bought didn't have the right color, I dyed it with some airbrush. Also the red fabric stripes got some attention. I added some black and white painting. For the leather handle I first made a pattern out of plastic wrap and duct tape. Scanned it and used this as a base for the template I created for our laser cutter. This is the same way how I always make my patterns for an armor. We engraved 2mm thick leather and then dyed it with oil dye. I don't know how Aloy attached the leather handle on her spear because there aren't any seams, 
but I think this is an authentic way to do it. I spray painted the wire because I didn't found the right color. Ta-da! Looks pretty cool! Just need to add these little round things on both sides of the spear. And last but not least, the feathers. I bought some parrot feathers, which has the right shape and also a very nice color. I used my airbrush to paint two of the feathers like the ones on the reference picture. Red and black. And attach them to the spear. Then we are finally done! If you haven't already seen part 1 where I showed you how to make the quiver and the arrows, you can check it out now. In the next videos we will show you how we made the wig and the shield weaver armor and of course the bow. So don't forget to like and subscribe our channel and also check out our shop where you can find our tutorial books. You can find all the links in the video description. So see you next time, bye bye!